Hello. I'm in the same spot I've left you in. It is now 1 p.m. I just sold a bench. Just really trying to like cleanse my chi. I don't know if it's because it's kind of rainy outside or just because of the like weird 48 hours it's been, but I'm in such a weird mood. I really have to go pee. Having breakfast with a good friend of mine. Say hi. Say hi, Mona. Dude, don't be weird. You're being weird. I don't know. I'm just like kind of in a weird mood. Mm. But I guess the only way is through. I'm watching Trisha Paytas. Love her. Anything you guys write in my comments, I'm pretty much responding to. So if you guys have ideas for what you want to see, if you want to see more of something, thrifting, working out, boyfriend, um, room, transition, whatever, let me know. Never a day goes by without like stuff on my bed though, I will say. Um, I did go through some bins that I keep in my closet and under my bed that have a ton of like PR packages, like makeup and skincare and hair care that I don't use on a regular basis. So I just sort of went through, organized those. I really just wanna keep like what I actually use on a regular basis here where I sit to do my hair and makeup. I'll show you guys kind of this area. It's really not fancy. So you guys have seen my makeup stand. I cleared it off a little bit, just wanted to declutter. So in these drawers, I have like just some extra makeup and random things that I might use. Here I have a ton of like hair care, things that I'm really liking. I really like this Alterna um, Bond Repair Mousse and this Chi Silk Infusion. Also this Maui um, stuff. And then here's like random lip liner, lotion, sunscreen, Q-tips. Um, and just like a little bit more of like what I'm using, what's on my counter. So much chapstick, I'm like using this like it's my freaking job, man. Also, like pro tip, I really like the Real Techniques sort of like beauty blender knockoff. If you guys are looking for a cheaper alternative, highly recommend. Okay, this is NYX lip liner in nude suede shoes. Promise me you guys won't sell this out, but it's great. I've actually been using this Morphe 2 stuff and I'm a fan. We got it from a clever video. We got it from a clever video where we wanted to have like a foundation that was more of like a dropper one. Oh, is it like leaking? Cool, now I'm gonna wash my hands. Actually cleaned out my bathroom as well. There was just a lot of chaos. I needed to clean my brushes. Also, I'm like on a month of using Curology and it's actually helped my skin a ton. I don't know if you guys can like fully tell, but these are mainly flat. So I'm like so grateful for that. More to come about Curology. I'm back from Target. I went to C's yesterday and I bought like a random one of these. You guys remember these? <laughs> I went to Target. I bought like cold brew, cotton pads. Ooh, gold earrings actually. Where did I put those? Ever since I've gotten my ears re-pierced and I don't have literally any earrings because for years, if, even if I was gifted earrings, I would just give them away because I didn't have the need. But I'm gonna try them. I just, I should take my hair down because I just look really bad right now. I'm like really into YouTube and watching YouTube right now. Um, also, I'm gonna unbox a sweater. Aha! This pile of paper is literally like all stuff I need to go through and get rid of, but. This sweater I got from Underground Costumes and if you guys remember, they are the ones who um, sell the My Date with the President's Daughter pink velvet dress. I had been searching and searching and searching and for some reason they never came up even though they sold like a perfect replica. So I connected with them, they ended up sending me one and I like posted on TikTok for them about it. I love like old school Disney dresses, like just super iconic and so then, 
they came out with this. I'm so excited. Oh my god, you guys. Okay. I want to know if you guys even just like already know what this is. They are so talented. Oh my goodness. You guys have seen the movie Jennifer's Body with Megan Fox. She wears this hoodie in the beginning of the movie, I think, or like middle. Beginning or middle? I don't remember. It was a Gap Kids hoodie and it was like pink hearts and it's super like iconic if you've seen the movie like you definitely know the sweater we're selling them and if you guys see this and want one okay wait i should text her and make sure i give you guys the right code so i'm 99 sure the code is mad as in madeline mad 10 okay okay i just actually spent like 15 minutes trying to contour my nose looks exactly the same perfect welcome back to cooking with madeline the show where literally nobody cooks hi guys okay so i am wearing the jennifer check hoodie of course with some low-rise jeans oh my gosh i feel like it's really really cute i just made a bunch of tiktoks in it and Brittany is in the kitchen with her boyfriend we just all ate like mad barbecue from Bloodsos. If you guys have ever been to Bloodsos, really, really, really good barbecue in LA. But I'm like literally just <laughs> sitting next to my bed is this stuff. Bloat. The last clip I filmed, I honestly like don't even remember. I might have been getting my hair done. I got a Brazilian blowout today, which is basically where they like chemically straighten your hair. This is how, this is what it looks like when it's flat ironed, but it's not going to look like this um, once I wash it. It just helps like maintain the frizz. Um, so really exciting. Tomorrow we have our table read for 20s. I'm literally, they, they gifted me, I don't think I get to keep this, but they gifted me a, um, one of these, what's it called? Tablet. So I'm like going through all the episodes because I want to make sure I like just kind of have like a good understanding of my character and like I'm like I can like read properly in front of people because it's going to be so I'm just like I'm so nervous. I also need to film a little for Clever tonight so I always just do this to myself. I like wait till the last freaking minute to do anything. So cute. Also, Brittany and I did like a total clean out of our kitchen today. We are, we feel so much better about it. Like we cleaned out and got rid of glassware that we didn't love. And I actually just ordered four glasses from Macy's. I'm gonna show you guys what they look like online. Oh, and there's my baby. There's my sweet little baby. Are you These are the glasses I just got from Macy's. They're the fluted highball glasses set of four at $30 right now. And they're like this really cute, like, Lux with this like fun little bottom. Hello. Elevates like the cold brew vibe. I don't know. Okay, so it's nine o'clock on the dot. So I need to get some stuff prepared for tomorrow. I think what I want to do so I don't get too behind on my week. I um tomorrow's gonna take up like most of the day. So I'm gonna finish looking over my lines for the scenes and then um and then I'm gonna film a bit for Clever. I need to take off this hoodie, but I can't. I don't actually think I will. <laughs> oh my God, this is hanging on by a thread. Good morning, guys. I swear I don't only sit in this chair, but every time I decide to film, it's in this chair. We are gonna do a little Trader Joe's unboxing, and it's really not that exciting. It's honestly the most random stuff I've ever bought. Like, I've never bought what I bought, but yeah, okay, so I bought some flowers. Beautiful hydrangeas, and then these are called uh, Gizophilia, Gizophila, Gizophila. But these last forever, you guys. If you just like put them in a little vase with some water, it'll last weeks, like it's bizarre. Unless they just, when they're dead, they look alive, but I'm fine with that. I feel the same way. Okay, so this bag of stuff is super random. So let's let's unbox. Bananas. 
Got some dog T-R-E-A-T-S because they're really cheap at Traders. I've had no sweets in this house for like weeks, not even on purpose, but on accident. So I got some milk chocolate peanut butter cups because I just like to have something to grab so I don't obsess over that. Okay, I don't remember if I've ever tried this, but it sounds really good. Vegan um, Caesar dressing. I don't even have lettuce. Like, what am I doing? These are hella good. Giant Peruvian corn nuts. Um, salted if you need like a little salty snack. Got some cauliflower gnocchi. Like it's all right. It's good with fiber. Like I got this eight dollar. I have to say it's eight dollar because I think that's crazy. Arbiata pasta sauce. Eight dollars for a jar of pasta sauce. Like that's actually crazy. But it was so good and worth it. On this, I got some spinach tortellini. And I don't know, I've never had this before, beef bolognese ravioli, but that just sounds great. It's actually it. It was all very much in the same color palette. That's fun. Babe town. This around your waist. You're gonna be finding the resistance. Knees up. Be a core. <laughs> From this close minded 